Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl AJ. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like this video, like my other videos, check out. I have other videos that you can check out, share and drop your comments down below. So today I want to talk about how people are treated when they come out to share stories about how they've been treated or how they've been molested and raped by people that they trust people that they know people that are usually close to them yeah basically how they are ashamed and how they are made to feel like they should not be 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 be, be telling their story they should not be out here you know trying to hold those individuals accountable for their actions so i saw this um this video that was circulating about this nigerian lady who came out to talk about this powerful man of god who raped her when she was 17 years old when i watched the video i was i i will admit i was really aggravated i was I was sad I, I I I I had tears in my eyes listening to her story and I don't know I, I was ready to fight I was I was ready to fight I'm telling you and then I checked on social media and well the response I would say the response a lot of celebrities came out to, to support her there was a lot of support all these hashtags flowing around around about how they stand with her and how they have her back and i thought it was awesome but um there were also a lot of comments uh, shaming her and and talking about why now it's been how many years girl why are you out here telling the world this you are married you have kids why now and I'm like, I was mortified because, and why not now? Why not now? And the saddest part of all this was that it was women, mostly women who were asking these questions. Some people even made videos, oh, you have children now, you are married. Why now? Why not now? Question is, why not now? Why not now? Trust me, there are a lot of women, thousands and thousands of women out there who have been raped and feel like they cannot come out to tell their stories because they are afraid of being victimized and shamed by society. And when we think about rape, we always think that, oh, maybe it's some stranger on the streets that usually commits these crimes. The truth of the matter is, it's not, it's usually not strangers who, who perpetuate these crimes. It is people that these victims trust. It is people that they have more than likely invited into their homes or they've trusted them enough to go into their homes. Who do this? It is not, it's not usually a stranger on the streets. And so if you can understand why a woman would hesitate to come out and say, oh, so so and so raped me people would usually ask so why did you go there did you go to his house yes did he come to your house he invited him to your house yes so you were asking for it then if you went to his house you knew what you were in for no this analogy is completely wrong and it's it really annoys me but most of the time that's what we see Oh, you went to his house then you knew what you were getting into no the mere fact that a woman goes into a man's house does not mean she's in there for for anything even if she went there for something even if she agreed to be intimate with him and at the very last minute she says no it's over player it is over player like back up no means no and I'm, i and i always tell people this like let's stop let's stop shaming people let's stop telling people that oh you went there and you allowed them to do this so you deserve what you got no means no and i want to tell men 
some of these men out there, if you invite a woman to your house or a woman comes to visit you, it is not a code for, I am looking for it, I want it. Even if she decides that, oh yes, I'm going to be intimate with you. And at the very last minute she says, you know what, I don't want this anymore. It's over. And she has every right to take you up if you proceed with the act. It's high time we start teaching our children. Let's start teaching especially our daughters how to find their voice. How to be able to speak out for themselves in these cases. Teach your daughters that no means no. Even if you agree to do something with the man. And at the very final stage, you say no. Even if in the course of the act, you say no and he goes on to do it. It's a crime. Let's start teaching our children and exactly, especially our daughters. This theory, this concept that no means no. And it doesn't matter if you invited a man to your house or you went to his house. It is not um, a recipe. For rape, it is unacceptable behavior and we need to do better as a people. We need to do better and hold these people accountable for their actions. Let's stop victim shaming. There were women on, on, on social media talking about, oh, God will punish you if you are lying. Okay, what if she's not lying? What will God do to her then? God will punish her if she's lying. Like do we listen to ourselves and the 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 cliche unfortunately is true the women we are our own worst enemies and i hate that phrase a lot but i will have to admit that it's true we are our own enemies the way we talk and and shame our fellow women is just it's appalling it's high time women we come together and hold each other up it's high time we, we, we come together and form one dynam dynamic voice and say, enough is enough. This is not acceptable behavior. And I was, I really like the Me Too, Me Too movement that started in the United States. The Me Too, it was, it was, it's, 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 it's an exceptional move, or an exceptional concept. Do you know the number of women who, that, that movement gave a voice to people who now felt like it's okay. They can now come out and tell their story without being shamed or victimized. And I'm still trying to tell our women out there it is okay. You, you, you deserve to tell your story. You deserve to be heard. And I don't care if it was a hundred years ago that it happened to you. It is so valid. You experienced what you experienced and they need to be held accountable for their actions. It is all right to come out now and tell your stories. And if you were a man, before you open your mouth and shame a woman who has told her story, before you do that, yeah, check your 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 own house, check your your neighborhood, check your family, ask your sisters. You will be surprised about the stories that you will hear. Do you have um, 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 a mother? Check with her. Do you have aunties? Check with them. It will surprise you the stories that you will hear. I can easily say more than 75% of women have experienced some sort of sexual harassment or some sort of molestation throughout their life. I can personally tell you I have stories for days where I have encountered men who have tried to force themselves on me, who have tried to buy me into their beds, who have tried to talk me into their bed. Don't worry, next week I'm doing a story time about a very interesting encounter with a man of God. I will, I will do that story time. There are so many, and I know that so many women can relate to what I'm saying. Stories upon stories like you will never believe. But a lot of women don't talk about it because they are too ashamed to talk about it or they are afraid of the reaction that they will get. And it's a reality. I completely understood that woman. I know why a lot of women don't want to talk. We need to do better. We need to start teaching our girls. We need to start teaching our boys. And I always talk about it. Charity begins at home. Let's start teaching our sons that 
how to respect women from a very early age, keep your hands to yourself. When a woman says no, it means no. Because there are so many books and um, magazines that say, oh, if she says no, it means yes. She's just, she's just frantic. No, she's not. No, she's not. Let's start teaching our sons this, how to respect a woman's body and how not to feel entitled to a woman's body. A woman is not your property. She is not, um, um, she is not furniture to be acquired. She is not a, a purse, something that is made for your pleasure. I don't know how to put it. But it's high time that we start from our home. These educations need to start from our home. Teach your girls. How to be strong teach them how to have a voice teach them how to say no if you're not comfortable in a situation say no if you have a boy teach him to respect a woman and also what a woman wears is not an invitation to touch her again what a woman wears teach your sons that is not an invitation to rape keep your hands to yourself that a cake mentality must go. A lot of times a woman is raped and the first thing people ask, but what was she wearing? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what she was wearing. I don't care what she was wearing. That is not a recipe for rape. Teach this to your sons. Just because a woman is wearing a short skirt doesn't mean She's asking for it. No, she's not. Learn to respect a woman's body. And a woman has a right to wear whatever the hell she wants to wear. Can I get an amen? She has the right to wear whatever. I don't care. Teach this to your daughters. That she should never feel ashamed to talk or to tell her story just because she was wearing what well, something short. We have come too far for this. This is this is was in the olden days when women were shamed for 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 wearing whatever that you can't wear this, you can't wear that. No, no, you can't tell a woman what to wear. You don't have to shame a woman for her choice of clothes. That is her choice. May not be for you. That's fine. But who are you to, to judge her based on what she's wearing? That This is something that I'm very passionate about. That, that, that mentality needs to go. Teach your daughters. Teach your sons. A woman has the right to wear whatever she wants to wear and be free. Without being victimized or being a, 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 a raped because she was wearing something short. There should be some level of respect. Lest we are in the 21st century, people. That's a cake mentality needs to go. Let's have an open mind. It's time. If men can wear whatever the hell they want to wear, so do women. On the whole, we need to do better. When victims come out to tell their stories, let, let's say, let's... Um, Let's acknowledge them. Let's say, you know what? We hear you. We have heard your story. And we are sorry for what happened to you. And this monster needs to pay for what he has done. Instead of asking questions why they are now doing it. It doesn't matter. If she, if she has waited 50 years, it's still, it's, still, it's still a crime, you know? She's still going through something. And people think that, oh, it's just a thing. It, it happened... Um, 10 years ago, so it's, it's gone. It's in the past. No. Some of this trauma lives with you. It lives with you until you go to your grave. Women have been put in psychiatric institutions because of this. Some women have been depressed. Uh, have lost their minds because of how they have been molested from childhood. It messes with your mind. So we need to do better. It's high time that we hold people accountable. And stop victim blaming. It's 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 sad. And to women who have been molested or raped, it's it's all right. It's time you need to speak up. I applaud that woman for coming out. 
she's brave i i admire her courage and and for to her husband who 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 gave her the push like honey it's okay to tell your story i mean she that man is one in a million because i know men who would have used that against her trust me i know men who would have said don't go and tell anybody oh this is not a story that anybody to hear and why how could you have allowed yourself to 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 to, to, to let that happen to you <laughs> i know what i'm saying because I, I have stories to tell of i remember i was with i was with someone some time ago and i was trying to tell him i had an issue with a supervisor of mine who was trying to force himself on me and in a previous job and i was telling him you don't understand what this guy was trying to do to me blah 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 i was i thought i was being vulnerable and i was pouring my heart out to this person and he would you don't understand the reaction that i got from him what how could you allow yourself why did it did, i was he literally attacked me and and made me feel like you don't understand so i know how it is i know how some men would have even pushed her down or held her down from even telling her story and i applaud her husband he is he is a, a man and son he is a real man and that is what men are supposed to do and finally to women out there who have turned yourselves into rape apologists you know who you are rape apologists you know those people who would usually say oh of course it's a horrible thing to rape anyone it's terrible but these drama queens are making it more you know worse than it seems yeah you are rape apologists you out there who usually say but why didn't she scream let me tell you not all rape victims scream does it make the experience any less valid nope she didn't scream it doesn't mean that she did not experience what she did you are the ones i am talking to rape apologists you these women these gatekeepers of patriarchy who who i think it's it's, it's this it's a self-hating thing within yourselves i pray that you will find a moment of self-reflection and you will find some sort of humanity within yourself somewhere sit down and do some self-reflection because i cry for your future daughters my heart bleeds for your daughters and for their sake i hope that it's not too late and that you find a change of heart anyway if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up drop your comments down below subscribe share and I'll see you next week on my next video. Have a great day.